Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We to serve you. A day that you are looking at us to see what we will do today, whose side we will be. A day that you will see who we will live for. Father, we are here this morning starting the day with you. This is a sign that we have decided to live for you. I pray, oh God, that grace to live for you as you have decided this morning be given to us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I ask, oh God, even as we hear your word and pray, grant us, grant us this perfect understanding for all to be the dua after now. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Brethren, we have come to the second and last phase of the fast night prayer. The question on before me are you, how has it been? From the first day to now, if Christ would have come, would, would you and I be qualified to have followed him? After 10 days of fasting and prayer, what, or what height have we got into in our spiritual work with God? If Christ would come now and ask us, come and give account of your life before me. I believe 10 days of fasting and prayer would have been able to qualify you and I to enter the kingdom of God. Now that we are in the second and the last phase of this fasting and prayer, whose children have we become now? Whose people have we become? What life are we now living? If the Lord will tell people in John 8.44 that you can be a child of the devil. Now, after 10 days fast and prayer, what children can we say that we are? If the qualification of being children of the devil is doing the will of Satan according to John 8.44, ye are of your father the devil, and the loss of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks, speaker is speak a lie. He speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and a father of it. Now, what kind of life are we living? Do we still tell lies? Do we still uh, live a life that no one understands you? Are you still living a perverseness, a life of perverseness, a, a life of perverseness? Do you see, do you see people? Are you still straightforward? Or you are still serpent in nature? Looking down at yourself now, the Lord will be purging us from the beginning to now. Will God be proud and say, yes, this is my beloved daughter. This is my child. Is there still lies in us? Do we still harbor evil in our hearts against each other? 
knowing that the Bible told us in Jeremiah 17, verse 9 and 10, the heart of the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? What kind of heart do you have? Does your heart is your is your heart still able to retain evil for 10 15 minutes? If you have still able to retain whatever anybody do to you, it will be there. You'll be harboring thinking of, of what to do to that person. Sister, brother, you are still a child of the devil after 10 days of prayer. But one thing I know, no matter how you try to conceal it, the eye of the Lord searched the heart. I tried the rain, even to, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Brethren, let us sit down and check ourselves after these 10 days. How far have I gone with the Lord? That's why he told us in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. Say, be not deceived. Don't deceive yourself. A day of reckoning is coming. It's either by rapture or you meet him face to face after death. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sweat, shall he also reap. Whatsoever a man may sow, whatsoever Maria sow, whatsoever it is so, so shall we reap. For he that sweat of the flesh shall also, shall also of the flesh reap corruption. For he that sweat to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life, life eternal, life everlasting. Now, my question to me and you is this, after 10 days of purging, what life are we still living? Whose will are we not doing? We have three will. The will of God, the will of the devil, and your own will. And the only will we will do that will make us inherit the kingdom of God is one, the will of God. My own will, your own will will send us to hell. The will of the devil will send us to hell. That's why the Bible told us in Proverbs chapter 40 verse 12. There is a way that seems good to the man. You will tell yourself, I am wonderful. My plan is good. But he said, but the end of it is what is destruction. The will of man is destructive to the soul of man. Only the will of God will see us through. Now, the question is, whose will are we doing? Uh, you and I will only do the will of who we are standing for. If after 10 days of intense purging, intense stress, let me put, put this spiritual, spiritual strenuous, we are not still able to stand firm as people who make rapture. When is it going to, when, what time is it going to be? When I read it from the very first day to yesterday, the way it has been, marathon, brethren, by now we should have been qualified to enter the kingdom of God. But I tell you something, the Bible tells us the only people who can stand before God are people who the Bible says in Psalm 15, Psalm chapter 15 from verse 1. Say, Lord, who shall abide in the tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hill? He that walketh uprightly. Number one. Uprightness is demanded. And walketh righteously. And speaketh the truth in his heart. Don't you are pouring out love but your heart is evil after 10 days does the word in your heart still confirm confirm to the word you are speaking out ah study joy i love you so much apostle man you are a wonderful man of god but i tell you the heart is saying i will destroy you have we gone to the level that when I'm speaking and the spirit is searching my heart, what I'm saying in my heart is what is 
what I'm saying in my heart is what I'm saying in my mouth. Like what I, uh, the revelation I saw, I saw this morning, it was scary to me. After the um, divine inspiration, I prayed, there was an after four, so, so let me rest a little bit. Immediately, I put my head on the ground. I saw myself in the program. And there was a woman in that program. The woman was so caring, so caring, so loving. I said, wow, this is kind of woman. Because of our care, of our love, I did not just say, let me, God, who is this person? Because the love was really, really much. So after the program, after what God has done, yeah, man of God, can I give you a lift back home? I said, ah, why not? I just, as they said, I just hopped into the car. So it was driving me to where the people that, uh, that invited me lodged me. Because I'm not used to the place. She was just driving me. I thought she was driving me there. I never knew she was driving me to where Richard. I never knew she was driving to where Richard people are. She was just driving me to a place. I knew it. Driving to a to one car. Say, sister, where is this place? He said, he said, man of God, don't worry. Don't you trust me? I said, I trust you. I knew it. She entered into a place. It was there. He said, man of God. Just relax your mind. Who I knew it? Ritualist. Hey, you were just smiling. You do this. You. She was just smiling. I said, "Wow." So in my heart, I said, "Upon all the love you were pouring at me, all the care, all the gift, this is what you were planning." I said, hey, God, what have I, I said, God, what have I done? Why did I not ask myself with this woman? And something, instead of me telling me, just relax your mind. I relax. As she now gives sign to the people she had placed there, the rituals, as they were just coming, come to the ritual, I just saw myself leaving, leaving, leaving. It's just carrying me up. They were, they were looking at me. Just leave. Just put me, put me. I was just on the air. You want to go and drop me in the street near, near one house? I was just there. Ah, where is this place? They just like, stay here. <laughs> I was there, and I, I asked my boy, one young mother came. Say, where, where is this place? Say, I was just explaining. I just saw the woman, <laughs> the same woman. Coming out of her house. I saw me, she was fighting. See, 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 hey, man, what, what is it? See, see, I just want you to know that I am God. Yeah, this is see, I brought you in her front so that she will know that she cannot destroy you for me. I just said, hey, man of God, hey. I said, I said, relax your mind. You thought that you have finished me. You thought the work of God is finished. Well, look at me here in your present. Oh, I am sorry. I said, don't worry. So I go to the, follow the streets, just be going. As you go, you see it has it, cut as it there go. I said, as, as I described, I said, God, what kind of human being do we have today? I said, what kind of people do we have? He said, my son, this way, I always tell you, be careful. The more somebody is doing good to you, the more you pray about that person. The more somebody is proving to love you, the more you pray about that. I'm saying this now, I've kept, kept, kept it for my own self. I'm saying it, God might be talking to somebody here too. The more somebody is closer to you, the closer the person, the more prayerful about that person. The more somebody is showing you good, showing love, the more you pray about that person. Because humanity are not always what they say they are. I said, God, you have to help me here. Help me. So what am I trying to say? You are being a cruel. Now I ask you this question. Are you not like that woman? Are men not like that woman? Showing love openly. 
true love and what you want to do to know your friend is in your heart. And after 10 days of fast and prayer, you are still like that? After 10 days, of our head is, is almost breaking off because of prayer. Father, purge me. There is no day we come, we don't say, Father, Father have mercy upon me, purge me. If after that time, we can still conceal evil in our heart, we can still plant evil against somebody, I tell you, we cannot stand before the Lord God Almighty and enter his kingdom. I wait for my soul say, God, if this one was real, how because the place was was like back with the they, they fed the place around. There's no way I would have been able to escape. But the spirit of God came and carried me out. They were just looking at me because they cannot fly. So shall you escape the blast of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. Hmm. He that walketh uprightly and walketh and speaketh the truth in his heart. Verse 3. He that barbated not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor doeth evil to his neighbor. Brethren, let us stop speaking evil against each other. Let us stop concealing evil against each other. Not until you do the action. The preaction in your heart is already riggy bare in the heart of God. Thinking about thinking of evil about somebody is already evil against before God. So please, now that we are entering the, the third phase, I mean second phase and last phase of this phase of prayer, let's ask God to work on our heart. We husband and wife sometimes in the house we are we talk about people we think God is trusting us. And it's just husband and wife. If there's nothing to say, you and your husband be thinking. If you sit down in your house, you cannot, there's nothing you can say, you must say about that man of God, that person, start singing. Start praising. Yes. There's danger. You see, not do not evil against his neighbor, not talk, not take it up a reproach against his neighbor. For in whose eyes a vile person is content, but he but he honored them that fear the Lord. He that swear to his own heart, hold up, I mean hold out, and change it not. He that put it not out his money to usury, nor take a reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Brethren, what life are we living? What are we doing? Whose will are we doing? The will of God or the will of the devil? Brethren, the Bible told us in the book of Colossians chapter 3 from verse 5. Say, so mortify therefore the members which are upon the earth, on cleanliness, uncleanness means all kind of sin is uncleanness. Amen. Amen. When you hear on cleanliness, it's all kind of sin that a man can commit. Inordinate affection, evil. Concupiscences and covetousness, which is idolatry. Six, for which things sake the wrath of God comment on the children of disobedience. The bigger, for which case the wrath of God comment upon the children of disobedience. Who are the disobedient? Anything that is against His will. What are those things? That against the will of God, sin. Any sin at all is against the will of God and it can result to the wrath of God upon somebody. So, if after 10 days we can still do things that are against the will of God, it means there's a danger, danger is gloomy. So, Esther enjoys 10 days is enough. For whoever, whoever to be, that, that, whoever to, to bath a bit clean, to bath a bit clean. 
10 days, good 10 days of a test purging in intensive care unit of the Holy Spirit. It's enough for us to make heaven. God forbid, if any of us after these 10 days now, let me not say today now, after the past 10 days, still go to hell, brethren, it's, it's going to be our own fault. Not that God does not love us. Verse 6. For which in, for which sake say, come the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Verse 7. In, in thee, which ye also walk so time, where you live in them. Now, Rakujo, God is saying, my children, I know you are no more sinners again. You used to, not anymore. My daughter, Abigail, you used to, not anymore. Emmanuel, you used to. If God is saying, we used to, and we are still doing, we are still doing it, that means we are making him a liar. That is another adding more sin to sin. If God says, which things we used to do before, and Sister Made, Sister Rosulem are still doing it. Number one, you have made God a liar for saying you used to, whereas you are still doing it. You are saying God has just spoken a lie. Number one, sin for calling him a liar. Number two, for still involving in it, another problem. So, let us set ourselves where are we still calling God liars in our lives? God is saying, angels, that my son Emmanuel used to so so so. And I'm still doing it presently. It means trouble. Rot of God. Come. I pray God have it upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Verse 8. But now, I did joy. But now, it, but now, sister Sosa, you also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deed. You are no more of the devil anymore. I am no more of the devil anymore. There's a prayer that Stego was praying some days ago. Let's pray for Apostle Manuel. Let's um, pray that God will give us a spirit of meekness. Like Moses was most meek man on earth. I said, God, this thing that this man is saying now, mm -hmm. I help you. You are telling me, Emmanuel, this is the life I want you to live. You must be meek to the level that I will look at your edge. I will not see somebody as meek as you. And that has been my I say, Father, help me here. For you to put this thing in the mouth of your daughter. That God to let's pray for Apostle Manuel. As Moses was the meekest man. I said, God, this woman, she's a spirit. You are telling me this is the life I want you to be living. I want to look at all the men of God, all my children, and I will see you and say, yes, my son Emmanuel is the meekest man. Father, help me here. And that has been my prayer. I read meaning to everything, spiritually. I try to ask God, why do you put this thing in this person's mouth? Just as sometimes God puts something in my mouth, in my mix, somebody, somebody gets angry so. But whenever somebody, I say, God, why for Sister Bicket to say this thing? I believe man is a spirit being. Before man speak, something must have triggered something. Why will you, why will stand ego this way when I go and connect it to me, me cast man on earth? That means this is your weak or enemy. Can I help me? What about you? What is your most desire after these 10 days now? We are in the last phase now. Are we still going to remain the same? Can we still keep balance after this fast and prayer? Can we still have problem with our husband? We are still waiting for our husband to come and say, eh, and my wife, sorry, or as a husband, you are still waiting for your wife to come and say, I'm sorry. You cannot still go. I mean, even though you are at fault, go and meet the person and say, please, let's forget about this thing. 
if you are still like that, my brother, my sister, hey, there's a problem. A problem. If you are a minister, there's something as a minister, maybe one of the ministers offered you, you are, you are still carrying your head, you cannot say it out. That means you are, you are, you, you. The more, that, the more that is in you, you extra, extra. The whole church has to lay high on you for deliverance, even as a minister. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But now you are you also put off all things we have said before. Line over to another, saying that he have put off the old man which was in you. I paraphrase. I have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created you. That's why every day you come, God always give us the words of knowledge. So that will make difference from every other person. So I go see and say, yes, that is my beloved daughter. You know, I will please. So what do we do now? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. I will stop here because of time. Ephesians 4, verse 31. It says, I start from verse um, um, okay, 25. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are member of one of one of another. Member one of another. 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your rod. Mm. Let's take note of that, Esther Rejoice. It is written. 27. Neither give place to the devil. Uh, okay, I'll be good. Neither give place to the devil, Sister Doris. How do we give place to the devil? Who can answer me? Who? Good old time by retaining sin in us. But allowing sin to dwell. In our garment, in our heart, in our hands, you are giving place to the devil. So whenever he comes, he washes away. That Satan will not have a place to dwell in us. 8, 20, 28. Let him that stole steal no more. Be, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the things which is good that he may have to give to him that needed. Please, let, let me say this. In this verse. If you go to a market, don't test what you will not buy. Hmm? Hey, and this, uh, this, like all these small, small, uh, that, that look like fruits, all those small, small fruits, they, they, you are testing it. If you test it, you will buy it. Because that one you are eating, if you don't buy it, you are, you are, you are stolen. You get that? If you test it, even if it's not, even if it's not sweet, add it best more one. If, if you like, go and treat it. If you, if you treat it, it will be another problem. So, if you go back and hold your mouth, don't even go and start testing. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything counts before God. Because in that place, they don't write it there. Test before you buy. Is it there? Is that the girl? What we just I used to do it those days. One day, he said, "This boy, you, you, you think you ever compare to me now? The, the way you are so careless." It is not written there where they sell the food. There you go. Test and buy. For some of us, out of carelessness, oh no, 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 it's not sweet. Oh no, no, no. Before you know, your stomach is already like a pregnant woman. You are eating. You are eating all. No, Maria, don't do that again. Buy it. When you get home, if it's sweet, manage it. If it's not sweet, still manage it. As children of God, we go by instruction. Go by what? Instruction. Pray God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. Now, let no corrupt, corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. For that which is good. 
to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearer, but not sweet words and evil you have to. You are making me happy, hey, Emmanuel, you are wonderful, but your heart is burning off me. Don't do that. That's even worse. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, 31, and wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, have forgiven you. Amen. This is the word of God today. I pray. This second phase, a last phase of the of the first prayer, we all will become who God wants us to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're gonna pray the Father, wherever I'll be failing you upon all you have been doing for me to make me what you want to make me, yet I am still who I am. Father, please have mercy upon me. This last phase, oh God, hold me, mold me. Do what, what you need to do for me to be what you want me to be in life. To your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, this means of day that come before you. Yeah. Father, oh God, after the 10 days, oh God, you know how I am. Father, oh God, have mercy upon me. Wherever I am to this day, when you are going to be in my name, God, I claim that you go to God, God, out of fire. are you as a you're not born again as we who are born again and say father wherever i have given you god wherever i have separated myself from you or not to me Father, you concern me back. Every bass, little spirit in me. Father, Jesus, the way I want to be constantly be with you. Those of us, please, if you think you are still very right with him, no problem. But those of us who, who are thinking, I don't know if I'm still who I or who God wants me to be. If you pray that prayer silently, by those who want to give the life to Christ, please this one after me. The Lord Jesus. I've the word. I've seen how you love your children. You want them to constantly be with you. But here I am in a far, very far country of sin and iniquity. But your word for your children have drawn me near to you this morning. Have mercy upon my upon my soul. Wash me clean with your heat soap. And purge me with your blood. I've decided to surrender my life to you. Take everything concerning me, Lord. Let my name be cancelled from the book of death. And let it be written in the book of life. You are my Lord and personal Savior from henceforth. All things have passed away. And all things have become new from now on. I go now to live my life, oh God, as you desire me to live it. So help me, God. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Our Holy Father, our righteous God, we thank you. We bless, we worship you. We thank you for your. 
Um, Thank you because you have spoken to us again. As a father, we speak to the children. Father, day by day, morning after morning, afternoon after afternoon, night after night, you always come to speak to us. We have heard you again, but the grace to do it, O oh God, still lies in you. The devil will not want us to do what you ask us to do, but we surrender our heart, our body, our souls, our spirit to you. Help us, O oh God, that we may be able to do it and be and so that whenever you see us, you'll be proud of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, I commit the last phase of this first night prayer to your care. I ask, oh God, that grace, oh God, for us is totally poured, purely poured, and be refined as gold that is refined in fire. Be released upon us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you for this one, oh God, who have joined us today. Help them, oh God, to stand strong as we move on in this narrow way. Amen. Help me, help all the ministers, help everyone on this mountain. Amen. So that on the last day, none of us shall be a cast away. Amen. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I pray with us, given. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Over to you, brother. Amen. Amen. Of a soul, shepherd of a soul.